والله يدعو إلى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء إلى صراط مستقيم. We can just take this uh, question here from Sister Aisha from Bahrain. Um, one of her friends, uh, she's had two children already. Um, she's going to have a third child. Uh, the question is that while having this child, there's going to be some male doctors or assistants uh, in, the, in the actual room while it takes place. She lives in Bahrain. Uh, she wants your advice, Sheikh. First of all, I would like to express my delight, my joy and happiness that uh, the awareness of the fact that there is awra even during giving birth, is increasing among the Muslim Ummah. Alhamdulillah, shukrullah. And I would like also to explain that you have to be aware of your rights. You do have rights as patient. I do remember one day with, uh, when my wife was giving birth in, in the States, mm -hmm. and this is a non-Muslim country. Um, and you know, it's difficult to say, no, I insist I need a female doctor, or I need a female nurse, because this is a hospital. You may have your own physician or doctor, but with the nurses, with the delivery team, with the operating room, it's kind of difficult. Yet, I found out that you do have rights as a patient, and you can request whatever. You can even request a translator. You can request a special meal. You can request this and this and that. And all of our requests were honored. That's a fact. I have to admit it on air. And so, if you are in a Muslim country, that's more worthy to be delivered that you can ask for a female uh, uh, doctor. Uh, many sisters call and say, it's, is it okay to work as an engineer, as a construction engineer? Uh, we need uh, more of uh, anesthesiologist, females, uh, gynecologist, mainly females. I don't understand why the uh, number of uh, gynecologists of men is outnumbering uh, the women. It's supposed to be the other way around. It's supposed to be that every gynecologist is uh, a female because this is our Mughalada, which should be uncovered due to necessity and by uh, a woman, not by uh, a man. So, number one, you have to insist on uh, requesting a female team to deliver uh, your wife or you yourself if you're taking care of this. You have to request a female and a female nurse, and an anesthesiologist if it is possible. What if it is not possible? In this case, we'll consider it as a darura. And a darura to tuqaddaru biqadariha. Each necessity will be measured according to its conditions. We do not generalize ruling. What mm -hmm. if there is no anesthesiologist whatsoever? What if there is, in some cases they said that, well, the case is very complicated. And the best person with this regard is a male doctor. Or otherwise, there is a, a very high risk of the death of either, God forbid, the mother or the fetus or whatever. In this condition, we we'll go to the alternative, which is uh, whatever is available that suits the condition and takes care of it, only in this condition. We do not generalize the ruling, because as I said, الضروره تقدر بقدرها. But we should not go uh, one step ahead before taking care of or at least trying to find out if this step is available or not. So do your best, try to inquire uh, a female doctor to deliver, and a female nurse, and a female anesthesiologist. If it is not available at all in this condition, you can go for the alternative, which is the male. And that's prohibited, except during this necessity. Just like for that clarification.